Making water safe is the job of every water provider, and doing that job requires constant monitoring and operational adjustments. Water supply operators make seasonal, weekly, and sometimes daily changes of chemicals and chemical dosages to respond to fluctuating raw water conditions. The goal? To produce the best water possible. To mimic the effect of any changes or adjustments on the water supply, operators use jar tests. It allows them to see what the results will be in the laboratory and predict what will happen full scale without affecting the operation of the plant. Jar testing is an invaluable tool, but can be difficult to perform correctly. When accurate results are generated and correctly applied, jar testing can translate into better treatment and more optimized chemical dosing. Jar testing is something operators should perform routinely in case there are unexpected water quality changes. Some plants do daily jar testing, so the operators are prepared. The most common use of jar testing is to determine the appropriate use and dose of chemicals in water treatment. The objective of water treatment is clarification, the removal of particulate matter in the water. Particles are removed both chemically through coagulation, flocculation, and sedimentation, and physically through filtration. Chemical treatment to remove particulate matter is usually achieved through the addition of coagulants. The coagulant combines with particles in the water to form flock, larger particles that are easier to remove. Effective particle removal is dependent on the operator applying the right doses of the proper chemicals. At the proper dose, turbidity removal is maximized. Beyond this point, an increased chemical dose yields little additional turbidity removal. Most surface water treatment plants use aluminum sulfate as the primary coagulant. It's difficult to overdose, so operators may add more than they really need. There won't really be a negative impact on the water, but overdosing is a waste of resources. Chemical dosing also affects the formation of flock. If underdosing, poor flocculation can occur. However, if too much coagulant is added, the result will be mostly chemical flock, which doesn't settle as well and again, wastes chemicals. The proper balance must be achieved and can be found with jar testing. The basic jar test procedure involves collecting a sample of the raw water and adding progressively larger doses of the coagulant chemical to several jars of the sample. The results are used to identify the optimal condition for turbidity removal. Multiple jars are typically used to look at a series of different conditions and simulate multiple treatment characteristics.